Hey there kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and before we get started on tonight's story, I'm going to let you know about two books. Both are available on Amazon, and both are from Jesse Pullins, tonight's author. The first is Undulating Flesh, a flash fiction amalgamation. Undulating Flesh will be available on Amazon for free, starting today, April 15th, running all the way until April 20th. On April 20th, the release of the second book, Aggravated Flesh, another flash fiction amalgamation, will be on Amazon, available on Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. If you want to find out more about these books or get your copy for free, then check out the link in the description down below. And now, on to tonight's story. I seem to have misplaced my pills. It's not good. The regular spot in the medicine cabinet was empty. A tiny little space, much like the one I felt in my stomach. It's been so long since I missed this scheduled dose, I fear what'll happen if I go without it for too long. I've been doing so good. How did I fuck this up? I ring the office as I gather my laundry, listening to the dial tone as I pack t-shirts and jeans into a garbage bag. It rings and rings, feeding my anxiety as I contemplate whether I should even go outside. Is it even safe? Is it safe for me to be around other people? It keeps ringing. And I feel the racing in my mind, held back by a tiny leash. Voicemail. Please leave a message after the beep. God, how did I fuck this up? Pure stupidity. I mumble my embarrassing apology to the answering machine, disguising my begging smoothly so I don't seem like an absolute wreck. I pocket my phone and I grab my keys. I put my bag over my shoulder and put my hand on the knob. And hesitate. I should just stay in. I don't have any clean clothes. I have to do laundry. The laundromat is only a block away. I'll go do my laundry and come back home. We'll sort it out then. I leave the apartment trying to keep my head high. Maybe I don't even need the pills anymore. Maybe I'm better now. Down the steps and on the street. People pass and I give friendly nods. They all look so cheery. The fresh air is nice. It feels good not to take the pills. I hate taking them anyway. The air is crisp today. The snow is melting. Everyone looks pleasant. I'm glad I left the house. The laundromat is empty. The laundromat is empty. The laundromat is empty. The laundromat is empty. I push through the door and pick my machine. They're all eight load monsters. An entire family's worth in one go. I pick one on the back wall so I can watch the street through the window. I check the time, 3.15 p.m. After the jeans dry, I could probably be home by five. Gotta hang the shirts up at home. Drying makes them shrink. I toss the bag at my machine and start loading everything in. I think of my pills and how I don't have them. The feeling of failing crawling up my back like rats. I need to call the office. Let them know I misplaced them. I'll get the load started first. A waterfall of clothes. Shake the bag out. Get everything. The knob on the machine is satisfying. The metallic drag of the coin drawer is satisfying. I'm satisfied. The washing machine groans and fills with water. It's always so pleasant to wash. Especially when the soap mixes in. The walls are meat. I look at the soapy water. So soothing. I ring the doc's office. Can't forget that. Hey, yeah, I don't really know where they went. I think it would be a good idea to get a refill. As long as the doc thinks it's alright. 
I haven't gone without for a while. Um, give me a call back. I grab a seat and I watch the street. People pass by. Some busy. Some not. Parents with their kids. Couples holding hands. A woman jogging with pods in. An old man and aviators looking a bit like a grumpy frog. I stretch and I look at the tumbling laundry. The soothing soap drizzling over the glass. The soft sunlight from the outside is relaxing. I can't think. I watch the tumbling close and my stomach starts sinking slowly. There's a man agitating in the washer. Tumbling over and over again. The washing machine bucks wildly, thrashing against the other units next to it. The noise peels the paint inside my skull. Wham, 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 wham. The man looks at me from within the washer. He's trying to reach for me. And even in the blur, I can see his piercing eyes. His white teeth. He's talking to me. Let me out. I rub my eyes. I'm sweating badly. The cool light from the street soothes me. The blood in the washing machine is soap again. Get it together. You don't need the medicine. You're fine without it. I'm fine without it. I rub my eyes, tapping my feet on the floor. God, how could I make... God, how could I make such a mistake? It's stupid. It's just so stupid. I get my phone out and check recents. Clicking the number for the office. Weird. I'm saying it's the ninth time. That can't be right. It's lying. I dial and hold the phone to my ear, standing up. I'm pacing a little bit. It's ringing. I watch the people on the street as it keeps ringing. They look so happy. Why can't I just be fucking happy? I watch them pass by, and the dial tone is getting quieter. A man with a suitcase is walking past like he's in a hurry. I watch him walk, and the dial tone is gone. It's silent. The phone is silent. The man with the suitcase stops and looks at me through the window. Please leave a message after the beep. The man with the suitcase is mouthing the words, but I, I can't hear him. I feel the trickle of sweat on my back and I shiver. When did it get so fucking cold in here? The man with the suitcase puts his hands on the glass. His hands must be hot. They're fogging the glass. His eyes... They look too far apart. I lower the phone, making sense of the words he's mouthing. The same word on repeat. Sunday. It's Sunday. The doctor's office is closed. I look at the washer. The clothes have stopped. I sit in my chair, hands over my ears. I can hear them. I can hear the walls. I can hear them writhe around me, gestating, undulating flesh. The street is dark outside, the light's gone, nobody's walking the streets now. Not people anymore. I'm trying not to look at them. The walls are meat, and I feel them getting closer. Shifting closer. They move when I'm not looking. I can see them in the corner of my eye. The flesh. It's coming. I have the courage to check my phone and ignore the smiling reflection in the black screen. I check the time, 9.30 p.m. I seem to have misplaced my pills. Somebody help me. Help me. Please.
Hey there kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I want to tell you thanks so much for watching tonight's video or listening to tonight's episode of the podcast. Quick reminder, I am also a narrator over at Chilling. If you guys like the stories that you're listening to here, then I'm sure you'll like the stories that you can listen to over at Chilling, because they're almost the same thing, I'm still narrating them, but you can select your own background music or background sounds, and you could select a whole mess of other narrators, such as Autumn Ivy, Swamp Dweller, and a bunch of my other friends. If you guys are interested in checking out Chilling App, starting up with a free trial, you can use the link in the description down below, or you can head over to thechillingapp.com and also use those free trials to win prizes from their giveaways. And as always, I would love to give a big thank you to everyone who is supporting me over on Patreon. You guys are the real MVPs, you guys keep things going, especially while well, things have been nuts for me over the past couple of months, and things have been getting crazier and crazier as time goes on. You guys are the ones who are keeping me sane, and I mean that with all sincerity, that you guys have helped me immensely. So, in my personal life and my professional life, I want to give a very big thank you to... Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Jacob Fenske, Jeff Burnett, Diana Krause, Lakeda Canizales, Mr. B. Foster, Pettis Weezer, Gattis, Joseph Calarudo, Woody B, Dante Kincaid, Fox Hound 803, Mephistopheles, Curse Pox Priorch, Bastion Beefcake, Jeff the Killer's Cultist, Love You M&M, M, Insanity Gamer X, Jesus Corneo, Yargul, Ember Clark, Jay Kearns, Himbo Jerry, Sama High, Crusader Chocobo, Adam Arias, Captain Scurvy, Estabine, Raiden Morris, Nate Cull, Our Min Sec Time, Angelus, Seclude, That Creepy Chick, Red Shadow Cat, Xavier and Cheyenne, Six Gay Rats in a Trench Coat, Turtle Man, Cryolinium, Lord Life's Best, Goran Trimagasy, Mr. Marcus Blitz, Michael Limchok, Dirk Diver 030, Matt Bach, Voice of Sam, Chelly J, Bacamel, The League Account, Melted Lake, Polly Sue, William King, Sashi Sasaku, Stricken, Freddy Krueger, Happy Birthday Jason Wilson, Lisa Cottrell, Caspian, 80 Nephew, Peter Chip, Acid System, Mom. Kiri the Sloth, Fester's Lampshade, Nico Kyle, The Ginger Bros, and Stormcrow, Daniel Paulson, and Cory Kenshin. To everyone on this list, everyone in the description, and of course anyone who could support even just one dollar, thank you all so much for making my life significantly easier with this. And if you guys would like to be able to join any of the names that you see here, or down there, or anything at all, head over to patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta. And with that, I wish you all a very, very pleasant night, and sweet dreams.